Hi guys, welcome to Me Vincent Toys. I'm Maria and today we are definitely going to do something different than we normally do on this channel because today we are outside in the beautiful fall weather. The weather is so gorgeous today and um, I thought to take it outside instead of always being inside and you always would have my toys in the background. But today you have my beautiful apples in the background. I wanted to show you guys my beautiful apple tree but I don't have an farmer's channel, <laughs> I don't have a cooking channel, so I thought about how could I show you guys my apple tree. So this is my solution to use it as my background. But today we are attempting to do the whole vlog thing. I am going to talk to you about what's on my mind and what I can see is stirring in the collector community. And um, I don't know if I'm doing the whole vlog thing correctly, but uh, it hasn't stopped me in the past. So I thought to just try it out. What I noticed when I woke up this morning was the whole buzz about the new um, uh, line from Masino, uh, the My Little Pony line. And a lot of people uh, were asking about um, how come the prices were so high and the designs and they were like conflict if they like it or they didn't because well as a collector um the design is very basic let's face it it is very basic we have seen it before we have seen it a lot of times and uh, but first let's talk about the prices the designs well let's save that for later but first let us talk about the prices you have t-shirts that are over 200 dollars for a t-shirt a white t-shirt with a basic design on front i don't know the quality of the design i don't know it's a thick iron on design because if that is the case it will definitely crack uh, the first time you wash it in the machine but again over 200 dollars for a t-shirt um but okay i know i know i know you pay for the brand and you pay for the the brand <laughs> but first before I get more into this subject, let us let me remind you about something. We all in, in t is entitled to our own opinion, so my opinion isn't necessarily the right one, but again, it isn't necessarily the wrong one. So keep that in mind. I love to hear a different opinion from you guys in the uh, comments down below. But again, let's talk about the prices. You also have this beautiful backpack. Guess the price, you guys. <laughs> Over six hundred dollars for backpack can't even have your laptop in it so i don't know what you're going to use that backpack for but again simple design you pay for the brand um and they even included the brand name Mushino uh underneath the pony so people know that is a, a high-end designer pony t-shirt uh or pony bag if you are in the market to spend over a thousand dollar on a bag they also have a shoulder bag um sign is this leather jacket folded and then they uh, there are these tiny little badges and a lot of small items you can see the design here um but the price for that sweet bag is one thousand seven hundred something dollars you know probably um Machino bags, expensive. The brand is, is expensive. Um, I grew up in the 80s with my mom wearing the iconic belt uh, with the Machini uh, letters on. Uh, good quality, no question there, but 1,700 something for a My Little Pony bag. That isn't even a My Little Pony bag because you can buy um, freaking a lot of Mimix ponies and South African uh, rare ponies. Um, you can even buy some very rare Greek ponies. You can add so much to your collection uh, for that amount of money. Um, that is crazy. But the design. Um, first of all, as a collector, a long time collector, I think I have seen these designs before. They are not uh, something mind blowingly new. Uh, I know it can be difficult to invent something new out of something old. I think I've seen these designs before. Um, this isn't the first <laughs> first one. Um, I remember um, Primac did a lot of uh, My Little Pony stuff. I 
think it was last year because I bought a tote bag uh, and I, I still believe that the design is almost the same the vibe is the same and I paid like 10, uh, 10 uh, pounds for that one and uh, it is absolutely beautiful, uh, practical but without paying the crazy amount of money for the brand Let's talk about the design you can actually also buy a crop top uh, for $330 I know uh, it's crazy but what it strikes me is the the quality of the um, the print it looks really 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 poor and it looks like something that would crack uh, very easily and um, for $330 I want something that lasts I want to put it in a frame inside my pony collector room because that would be one of my most expensive ponies not being a pony um, as you can hear I'm not a big fan of the design and the prices I don't think they necessarily matches I know a lot of people like the designs don't get me wrong and um, they also have a clutch and I think that's a beautiful one uh, the design is really pretty and I love the um, the image they chose for the clutch um, not so much the price but again you get the whole theme <laughs> about this video I don't like the prices uh, but I like um, the design of that one um, I think it's beautiful I, I think that because this is machinium uh, they are more uh, entitled to give us all of these weird fashion things because they know best I don't know um, perhaps that's the case perhaps it is I that don't know anything about fashion <laughs> that could also be the case because you guys I don't care about fashion um, I don't always like decade too late to, to the party but um, but again you don't have to be a designer brand to like milk people or collectors for money <laughs> you don't have to do it but again you can also look into um, I know H&M also did a couple of things with My Little Pony and uh, the vintage kind. I will leave some links below to stores that I found that are actively selling all of these kind of clotheslines stuff. Also strikes me is, I think a year ago I was going to buy a cup uh, for my work and I wanted it to be something that represented me so of course it needed to be something with 90s toys um, but, I, but they only had with 80s toys so I was just like oh it's okay I also love 80s toys I like my little pony from the 80s so I thought that was a good one but then I looked at the cup and instead of a G1 pony that is from the 80s they had a G3 pony for me um, it made me feel like they don't care about anything, about the customers, about the, the the collectors. They only care about the money. And I know I'm a bit naive if I say a businessman um, should care about the customers and um, trying to think about the brand they're trying to sell. But how come they don't? How come they don't um, do their research? How hard can it be? Just so for me, it was just like we're going to milk. Uh, this hype about my little pony and we're going to print all of these mugs all of them are wrong we don't care just sell it it will sell people don't care they will buy anything with my little pony on it I hope I will not see Kardashians with my little ponies on it I don't know I don't get me wrong I don't indicate the Kardashians I know nothing about them uh, probably sweet 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 women um, behind the scenes I don't know um, it was just like as a collector, I like people to wear them and uh, only because they love my little ponies and they know something about them and not simply because it represents a brand. Um, do I believe that you can only be a collector um, if you are not wearing all of these? Absolutely not. You can do whatever you want as I mentioned in my other videos. I just feel like I thought I would talk to you guys about the prices because perhaps I'm the only one that thinks these prices are outrageous um, and I think the designs don't reflect the prices um, at all perhaps I'm the only one and let me know if you have a different opinion 
if you think oh the prices are just spot on um let me know i would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below also let me know if you like this kind of videos and if you like my apple tree again not a farmer channel <laughs> but i hope you like this video um again my opinion isn't necessarily the right one let me know if you like this video and make sure to head over on instagram because i do daily uploads there and i do daily um, videos and pictures and a lot of times i also do like giveaways so make sure to head over on instagram and say hi uh, i will leave the links down below and also links to my tumblr and my pinterest and uh, yeah let me know if you like this vlog talking video <laughs> i will definitely also leave links below to where you can buy the famous mosini mosino uh mosino um toy uh, and i will definitely also leave uh, a link below to where you can buy uh, all of the clothes i have talked about mosino cloth so i promise you i will leave a lot of links below so make sure to check it all down in the description box and i will see you guys for the next video see you